sad. Um, caught me off guard yesterday. Uh, great uh, cyclone, uh, great human being with, with a, a monster-sized heart. Um, I was fortunate to be here when he was recruited and fortunate to be here when he played, fortunate to be here when he's come back um, to this state and this university every year. Um, a funny human being. Um, kind of guy that, that, that would do everything for, for, his, for his teammates. A great friend. Uh, sad day. How hard they play. Simply stated, how hard they play. Um, I mean, I can't say it enough. Um, that's not to, uh, I, they've won three national championships in a row, so that's not to diminish their talent or, or, or how good they are. They just play so hard. I got a lot of people out there that, that try to help me coach, as you know. And uh, I, I can't tell you how many letters and faxes and so forth that I've gotten emails um, that, that have stated that they will play for four quarters. You got it. I'm very aware of that. Uh, um, uh, but it's, it's on both sides of the ball, it's special teams, um, they're well coached. Um, guy can play hard and be wrong every time and really be a bad football player. They, they play hard and they're in the right spots with, and play with good technique and fundamentals. Uh, they have schemes that they thoroughly understand. They're part of their culture and then that it's why they've had success at their level and against the FBS, winning four straight games uh, against schools at our level. Um, yeah, there, there's, there's, there's plenty to go on and on about and rant and rave about uh, their football program. On the defensive side of the ball, uh, they're a very good football team. They're well coached. Um, they are great effort guys. They have talent, but they, they're talented guys, and all 11 guys on the field give great effort. Uh, they're smart. They're where they're supposed to be. Uh, as we say in football, they're gap sound. Uh, they play zone very well. They play man coverages extremely well. Give you a lot of looks. Uh, you know, they're, they're formidable. Uh, I saw them last year. Uh, uh, when I was at uh, Youngstown, and I was very impressed preparing for them, and, and, and the day we played them, they were impressive too. Well, that's that's what they try to do. They get a lot of people involved. Even their corners and safeties are involved in in various uh, 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 gap schemes to stop the run, and uh, you know they, they do a good job with it. They really do. Uh, so we have to be uh, we have to be assignment sound up front. We've got to be assignment sound. That is, that has been uh, what we've been talking about here for the last few days, and today with our players, that up front we have to be assignment sound. Well, you know they're downhill, very physical. Uh, you got to match their physicality. You know, uh, you got to hang in there. Uh, they want to extend the. You know, they want to shorten the game for them. Uh, they going to most of the time take the full 40 seconds from the time the ball's uh, dead till they put it back in play. Uh, you can't allow uh, long drives, and uh, that's what they want to be. They want out physical. They say, we're going to run the football. you got to stop us. Now, how are you going to do it? You do it the best you can against scouts because our offense is not anything close to what they do. So we ha we've had to do it against scouts, uh, what we call inside periods, where it's just run, downhill, power game, uh, ISO game. Uh, just, you know, pound them, pound them, pound them set till we get uh, where we can fit it right, you know, with the linebackers and the defensive front. And uh, we can use our safeties in that drill uh, because they're part of our run game plans this week. And uh, so that's how you have to go about it. Then you go 11 on 11. And, you know, today was big run emphasis, short yardage, goal line. So we saw all the power game today. And uh, so tomorrow we move on to something else, but that's kind of how we approach it. The trade the tight end across and everything, we trade our personnel with it. Uh, it hadn't been a problem, you know, in practice. That's something you see just about from uh, anyone that runs tight end power game uh, football. Uh, you know, we, we practice that against uh, two or three uh, teams every year. So hopefully it's not a problem. Uh, the thing they give us problem with in some personnel groupings is a lot of shifts motions, uh, trying to get one guy out of place and still run the football. They got about five, six uh, basic run plays out of all the different formations by personnel groupings. Uh, but it's all power game. Uh, very little uh, outside run. Uh, a few counter type plays. A few uh, uh, what we call jet sweep type plays that uh, get it on the corner for them when they want to get outside. Things like that.